You know, south of the metro is already bracing for the storm, especially in the Macomb area that will see the impact of Francine soon. That's right. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons live at five. Scott, how's it looking so far? Starting to see a lot more rain here. Not as much wind, but it's coming. Emergency responders have been prepping here in Pike County, getting ready for a night that they know will likely present some real problems. An emergency response briefing Wednesday in the Pike County Emergency Management Office. There won't be any, any fire response or ambulance once we get sustained winds above 45 miles an hour. It's just one, it's two days. The possibility that more trees will come down on top of it. Sheriff's deputies, police, and fire bracing for what Francine will do in the Vacomb area after dark. The emergency response gear has been prepped. Crews are spread out throughout the county, and there is some solace that the worst of this storm could hit late at night. I do believe that everybody will be at, at home. We're kind of liking that a little bit more that's coming in, you know, and uh, later at night, so everybody will be at home, maybe not out on the roads, but uh, the winds are the biggest concern. Francine is expected to weaken as it approaches this area, but even winds above 45 miles an hour are seen as a major threat. The drought of the previous summer and the southern pine beetle has left thousands of trees at a greater risk to come down. The trees block the roads, number one. People can't get where they're going. They panic when they can't get out of their home. Um, and then just being without power. People are so used to having the the niceties of the day, so it, being without power for an extended period of time causes problems for everybody. And they have now already set some new emergency response rules here for the evening. If those winds in this area get above 45 miles an hour, they want those crews to stay off the road simply because of trying to keep them out of harm's way, if at all possible. They're hoping residents in this area will stay inside their homes tonight and limit the chances that an emergency response crew will have to get out in this storm to come help them. We're live tonight in Macomb. Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>